Finally, in their old age, Abraham and Sarah celebrated the birth of a son who they called Isaac. Isaac means laughter. Naturally, Isaac was deeply loved by his parents, but when he was still a young boy, a strange idea came into Abraham's mind. He believed it came from God, and so the Bible says God tested Abraham. The people from whom Abraham came, and also the people living around him in Canaan, didn't worship the Lord God, but worshipped idols and believed those gods were jealous and needed to be pacified by sacrifices of animals and sometimes even their own children. What a terrible thing to think. Abraham had many of these false ideas in his own mind, so in his desire to prove his complete devotion to the Lord, he thought that he ought to sacrifice the most valued thing in his life, his son Isaac. A sacrifice is an offering of something to a god, or can also be giving up something you like to do. What do you value most in your life? What would you do if God asked you to give up the thing you value most as a sacrifice to him? So Abraham got up early in the morning and chopped the wood for the burnt offering. Then he saddled his donkey and took Isaac and two young men with him and set off for the place which God had told him. After a journey of three days, they could see the place ahead of them. He told the two young men to stay where they were and look after the donkey, and he and Isaac would go further to worship and then come back to them. Then Abraham gave the wood for the burnt offering to Isaac to carry, and he carried the fire and a knife. As they were walking on, Isaac said to him, Father, Yes, my son, said Abraham. We have the wood for the burnt offering and the knife, but where is the lamb? Abraham replied, The Lord will provide. When they reached the place God had told Abraham about, he built an altar and arranged the wood on it. Then he tied Isaac's hands and feet together and placed him on the altar on top of the wood. Then he took his knife to kill his son. But suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and said, Do not kill your son, your only son. Abraham looked around and saw a ram caught by its horns in the bushes. So he took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place, The Lord Will Provide. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham again and told him that because he had not withheld his only son, he would be blessed. Then Abraham and Isaac returned to the two young men and set off for home. Whilst this may sound very strange to us, Abraham had to be allowed to give expression in his own way to his good idea of showing his devotion to God. He was very happy that he was allowed to keep Isaac, and Isaac grew up to be a very great man like his father. We all make mistakes sometimes, but if we are trying to do the right thing, the Lord can help us and keep us from doing real harm. But we must remember that he cannot help us unless we are always trying to learn more about what is really right from the stories in the Bible.